What's up, my Grubhub gang? This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl, coming at you with another video. All right, guys, today is Monday, so I just want to give y'all a review of my last three days because I'm starting a new week. I want to give y'all a whole week of my assessment and uh, show you what I did. So for this week, guys, I did three days with um, Grubhub. I made $187 and some change. Um... Uh, I would love to show y'all that, but I'm recording on my phone because my camera would not stay charged because it's so hot in Tampa. So, um, on Friday I started, I did four orders, and on Saturday I did five. So I took those two days, and I gathered all the information, and I, um, you know, worked my magic, and I figured out what I, how I can work it so I can get orders when I don't have a block. And what I did, guys, I put myself in a situation where... I was at the location without a block, and I was able to get orders before anybody else that had a block. And uh, like I said, if you dare first, they're going to give it to you because you're the closest one. I did find that out. So on si Sunday, I did 17 orders. I did $120. I was happy, you know. I didn't turn down no orders. I was 100%. Um, I wasn't 100% on Friday and Saturday because I missed three orders on Saturday. And I missed four orders on um, Friday. So I didn't finish with a good accepting rate. But uh, the reason why I missed the order, guys, I got to tell you, if you're new and you don't know, guys, you will find out. If you're in a bad area and they try to send you an order, that bell don't go off. They still try to give you the order, but you can't accept it because you're in a bad order. I mean, bad area, so you missed that order. I missed seven. So if I would have got them seven orders, I probably would have did 250 You know, I'm still new. And I'm figuring it out on my own, but, you know, I'm getting a lot of good tips from other grow hubbers, so that worked out, too. But for my first three days, guys, I did, uh, like I said, $187. Um, I put out a ride-along video. I couldn't complete it. I had to stop at seven orders because, like I said, it's so hot in Tampa that you cannot keep nothing charged up because the battery is getting too hot and the phone is shutting down. All right, guys, so for three days... Not bad for part-time, and we're not having a block. So the difference between having a schedule and a block, if you don't have a block, you're not guaranteed to get anything. You get whatever's left over, if you get anything. If you have a block, you're first in line to get something. But I found out if you put yourself in a situation where you're right there at that spot, the hot spots, I call it hot spots. Like I went to Denny's um, 9 o'clock Sunday morning, and I got five orders because I was in the right place. And it wasn't late orders. All day long, out of 17 orders, I did two late orders, meaning rejected orders. The rest of them, I was just in the right place at the right time. Mama Soul Food, I think I did two or three orders there. I just went there and sat, and um, orders was just coming. I was getting two at a time. So if you don't have a block, guys, don't sit in the house. Um, look at my first video, see how you can look up the uh, restaurants, and just go do some groundwork, guys. I found out what days this place was going to be busy, what days that place going to be busy. And if I don't have a block, that's where I'm going to sit at. And um, if the order come through, I'm guaranteed to get that order. Not guaranteed, but I'm, pu I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it because I'm the closest. So you got to work smart, guys, and you got to go get that money. Don't sit in the house if you're brand new and just cut your app on. Because when I did that, I didn't get nothing for seven hours. All right, guys. So I'm going to get back to work, guys. I just want to put this video out. I'll be back um, tomorrow with Ride Along 1 and 2. I'm just going to give you all some insights of what I was doing and whatnot. But I hope you enjoyed the video. All right, guys. This is your boy, Kingfish, a.k.a. Big Owl. I'm out. I'm about to go do some more orders, guys, if I don't pass out. So if you're in Tampa, guys, you got to make sure you're hydrated. All right, guys. Y'all have a good day. If you're grubbing, keep grubbing. If you're not, get yourself some grub, man. Peace.